Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. My Juan Alfonso, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, my. It's a pleasure to, to see your picture. <laughs> okay. Hello, Rolando. Any Hello, the platform? Uh, resuelto, yeah. You finally did it, right? You finally did it. Sorry, but you know, especially because of the hurricane, uh, you know, internet is not working properly, right? Sorry. Okay, thank you. Did, did you call Jonathan for the problem or you, you did it by yourself? You did it by yourself, Rolando. Hola, perdón. Excuse me. You did it by yourself. I mean, you, you got the platform by yourself. Yes. Uh, Only you. Only you. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, Josue, welcome, Josue. Welcome. Good evening. Good teacher. evening. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> okay, Jose Alonso, Alicia, Lorena, and Victor. Welcome. It's a pleasure to, to see you know, again, right? Hi, Welcome evening. for the vacation, too. Oh, yeah. Well, yesterday we have vacation, but we don't know what is going to happen with ETA. <laughs> ETA, it sounds like terrorists, right? But is that the name of the hurricane? Mm, yes. We don't know it's going to be just a, a little storm or, or a very problematic hurricane, right? We don't know yet. We're expecting rain tonight, but we don't know yet. We expect we have to pray God, right? That is only, only a little storm only, right? <laughs> anyway, we, we, are, we are going to continue with the classes this week. Uh, please be, pay attention in the, in the group because if there is any change, Immediately, I will send the, the messages. No classes, right? But for the moment, yes, we have classes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now let's begin, right? Well, we have a conversation that we didn't cover last time. So we want to make it, right? We want to uh, practice the conversation to start the class. Let's practice this conversation before we start the class. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see that expression. Just give me a second. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Yes, this is the one, right? This is the one. Oh, yes, this is the one. It's a conversation, right? I start work at five. Remember last class we were learning about the, the WH questions and statement, right? If you remember what we were working with, what do you do? Where do you work? Where do you go to school? Where does Andrea work? Okay, and the third person singular uh, form of the verb, right? I work, she works, I go, he goes, et cetera, et cetera. So to finish that part, we're going to, to uh, practice this conversation that is using WH question, right? And verse in third person singular, right? Listen, please, and pay attention. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. Now let's I'm see. a TV announcer. <laughs> let's practice the conversation, right? Come on, everybody. Repeat after me. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? 
Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Five. Incorrect. Five. Five. No, it's five. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? When? Do you get home at night? When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Usually, usually, I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? Exactly. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. Announcer. I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Recognize. Recognize me. Don't you recognize me? Oh. Like, you know, Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Like you say, oh, you're Daniel Rooks from Domingo Para Todo, right? <laughs> okay, good. So I don't know if you have any question about vocabulary. <laughs> Any word that you don't understand? What is, what is announcer? announcer? Oh, announcer is someone that tells the news in the TV. It's, it's like a locutor. Uh, something like that, but the... someone that works like Moisés Urbina, for example, right? Mm -hmm. When he's not giving the weather report, of course, right? So uh, mm -hmm. it's, it, Moisés Urbina is a... a, a a TV announcer, right? <laughs> the, the, the information is not exactly sometimes, but you know, <laughs> that's a TV announcer, okay? Understand? Okay. okay. Yes. Good. Any other question? No question? So, come on, let's practice pronunciation again. Listen the conversation after the audio, and then you repeat, right? So... Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Come on, repeat. So. Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? 
That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okie dokie. Now, to practice, we're going to be, do something really fast and exciting, right? <coughs> uh, the boys are going to be Daniel. Everybody, right? Uh, Rolando, Jose, Juan Alfonso, Alonso, Abel, Eric, Luis, Miguel. You're going to be Daniel, right? Then the girls. Ah, no, no. I, I received a message for Alejandro, right? Eh, recibí un mensaje de Alejandro que, que hoy no puede estar con su micrófono. Bueno, entonces solo va a estar de espectador Alejandro, ok. Ok, now the girls, eh, you know, Alicia, Mayra, and, eh, who's here? Eh, Claudia, too, right? So you're going to be Helen, right? Ok. Right. Let's try to do it. Let me see who does the, the, the conversation better, right? I will give claps to the best, the girls or the boys, right? Ready? Okay, one, two, three. So, so you usually come, come to the gym in the morning? morning. The gym. Yeah. 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 I do. Really? 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 What do you do in work? I work in the I work. I start work at five. I start Five. Whoa, oh, that's, that's light. Light. So, do you have do you at home at night? night? I usually I usually get a home at night. Midnight? Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am. I am Tim. I do. I do no, sir. Okay. Don't you do don't do don't see me. Oh, oh. Oh, nice me. You're Helen Black. You're Helen Black. I love your show. I love your you show. Way. By the way, I done it. I done it. Maybe because of the microphones, that was the, <laughs> the problem, right? But uh, <laughs> guys, if I were you, I, I didn't contract in a court, right? Si yo fuera artista, no nos contratara en un coro. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Come on, you did very well. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now let's go to the presentation of today. And I'm going to uh, show you the PowerPoint presentation, right? Today is very interesting. Uh, thank you for your commentaries. But uh, today I won't read it because of, of the time. We have to cover a lot of material, right? So let's go to the... To the PowerPoint presentation. Let me see. Printer media here. Okay. Now, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, I see. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. November 3rd, right? Uh, we're going to learn about video time expression, right? We're going to learn about time expressions. And we're going to learn about daily schedule, right? We're, we're going to learn how to use in, on, and at. In, on, and at, right? And uh, a reading related with job, work, right? Why do you need a job? That's the reading. So, so time expressions, Why do you need listening and exercise, and reading. We have everything today. Conversation, listening, and reading. Etc. We have pupusa, we have coffee, we have everything today, right? So you're going to enjoy the class. Good? Now, let's start. Let's start with the lesson objective, right? Let me see. Uh, Claudia, can you read the objective, please, for, for the class? Uh 
Ah, uh -huh, Claudia, read. Come on. By then. By then, if the lesson participant will be able to identify, identi well, uh, identify, 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 uh -huh. identify, and use time expression such as preposition of time and adverbs of time. Thank you very much. Such as means. ¿Cómo se pronuncia such as? Such as. Such as. ¿Cómo? Such as. That means, for example. For example, right? Uh, sorry, I, I received the message of Rosa. Rosa, I am. Uh, it's okay, Rosa. No problem, Rosa. Okay. Today, Rosa and Alejandro are only listeners, right? Listeners. <laughs> so, no problem, no problem. So, let's continue. Such as, Claudia means, for example, like you said, right? Use time expression, for example, preposition of time and others of time. So, that, that means such as, for example, okay? Such as. Good. Now, let's go to the, to the vocabulary for today. Listen, please. Wake up, get Wake up, up early, late, until, stay up, college, quickly, allowance. Now, please repeat after me. Wake up. Wake up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Early. Early. Late. Late. Until. Until. Stay up. Stay up. Listen, incorrect. Eh, stay up, right? No, no, no. It's stay up. Stay up. Stay up. College. College. Quickly. Quickly. Allowance. Allowance. Yes. Okay, now questions over the meaning? Allowance? Allowance, allowance is a certain quantity of money you receive every month, especially if you are not working, right? For example, when you have children, maybe you give a dollar, five dollars, or ten dollars every month, depending on the age, right? Uh, you give this money, right? In Spanish, mesada, okay? Mesada, it's the money you receive. When I was a, a child, I didn't receive my all ones. I received nothing. <laughs> okay, but I remember my, my mother used to give me money for to buy choco bananas at least, <laughs> but not a loved ones. Okay, good. Any other question? You know the difference between wake up and get up, right? Do you know the difference? Josue? Do you, do you understand the difference between wake up and get up, Josue? What is the difference? Turn on your microphone, the microphone, Josue. I think it's wake up is when you wake up the bell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And, and get, get up, up when you get you up. Go, <laughs> and you get up when you go to the work. Ah, oh, excellent. Yes. Wake up is like uh, a new day, right? Um, okay. And get up is like you go out of the bed. Mm -hmm. And stay up. When, stay up when is when you, you you don't go you don't go back to, to your bed, right? <laughs> like we I usually do, right? I I wake up, I get up, but sometimes I don't stay up. I go back to my bed. It's only five minutes, okay? Only uh, okay. five minutes to sleep again, right? So stay up is like quedarse despierto, right? Stay up, quedarse despierto. Okay. It happens also at night, right? When, 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 you, when you don't go to bed, you, you are starting, you're working, or you are just watching uh, Facebook <laughs> or watching a movie, right? So you stay up. 
And stay up late means that you, you don't go to bed very late until one o'clock in the morning, for example, right? Or you go right. to a party, right? Celebration eh? on Friday. So you stay up. Okay. It's like quedarse despierto o estar, mantenerse despierto, right? Stay up, right? And I say, wake up is like when, when you open your eyes, right? A new day. And get up is when you go out of the bed. Okay? Out of the bed. Good? That's it, right? And now, the difference between early and late. Uh, Miguel, you know the difference, Miguel Calderon? Miguel, can you hear me? Okay. So, my, please, <laughs> my. Do you know the difference between early and late? Uh, early is, is like... Uh, okay, I will explain this. Uh, listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. What? The class is at 8 o'clock. Exactly, right? 8 o'clock. So, when is early and when is late for the class? Uh, early is... Uh, Eight o'clock, light is uh, a 8.30. Uh-huh, that's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Or let's say uh, three. Oh, three past eight. Uh-huh, that's okay. That's it. So early is five minutes to eight, and late is like 8.20, right? 8.15, something like that. Right? Okay, thank you. Good. And until means hasta, right? Hasta. So, for example, I say, I, I went home, I went to, I went bed yesterday until, I don't know, two o'clock in the morning, for example, right? Hasta, right? Okay, now, talking about time, right? We're going to check it out this. This was the vocabulary, right? Now, time expressions. In, when do we use in? In time, we use preposition in with parts of the day, month, and years. Repeat after me, please. We use the preposition in with parts of the day, preposition in, month, of the day, and years. Okay, example, right? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, right? Morning, afternoon, and evening are parts of the day, right? Month, in September, in October, in November, right? Years, in 2020, in 1999, in 1492, right? Christopher Columbus discovered America. No, sorry invaded America <laughs> in, in 1492, right? In 1492, right? The French Revolution in 1789. 1789, that was the, in 1789. That was the French Revolution, right? Okay. And my birthday is in, no, 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 I won't say it. <laughs> okay, now. Let's go to uh, the preposition on, right? When do we use on? We use the preposition on with days, portions of the week, and dates. No days, date, right? Good, now please repeat. We use the preposition on. We use the preposition on. on. With days, with days, portions of the week, portion of the week, and dates, and dates. For example, right? Days on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, etc. etc. Portions of the week on weekdays, the other semana, right? On weekends, fin de semana, right? Then on dates, remember. September is not a date. September is a month. But when you add a number, a cardinal number like 28, right? We have to say that this is a date, fecha, right? Date. 
So we say on September 28th. Oh, on the 28th, right? Good. Now let's go to the preposition at, right? We use the preposition at with specific time. For example, uh, sorry, and also night, midnight, and noon, right? Okay, now please repeat after me. We use the preposition at. We use, we we use the preposition, preposition at, at. With specific time. With a specific, with time, a specific time. time. With specific time. With a specific time. With a specific time. Night. Night. Midnight. Midnight. midnight noon. 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 For example, at 9 p.m., at 8 p.m., at 7.30, at 5.40, etc., etc., right? And then we have at noon, you don't say in noon, in noon, no, no. Or on noon, no, no, it's at noon, right? Because at is very specific. At night. Some people say in the night, in the night. No, no, it's at night. At night. Uh -huh. And at midnight, right? Midnight is the, the ghost time, right? La hora de los espantos, right? Midnight. Okay. Like thriller, right? Good. Now, uh, any question about the use of in, on, and at, any question? No. This is just a question of memory, right? You have to memorize. Again, memorize this, right? In with parts of the day, month, and year, right? Parts of the day, month, and years. And on with days, portions okay. of the week, and dates. And at, with specific time, night, midnight, night, and noon, midnight. right? Okay? Now, let's go to, to make one exercise, right? We're going to start with... Caro, hello, Caro. I will make a question, Caro, and then you're going to... Try to use the appropriate preposition, in, on, or at, right? Okay. So, Caro, when is the party? On. When? I'm sorry. When is the party? The party is... The, oh, the party is on... Yo la pero, yo la pero. <coughs> Caro is checking the, the number, right? Uh -huh. At night, no. Uh, the party is? At night. At night, correct. That's an option. The party is uh, on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Mm -hmm. The party is on... September 29th. Okay? Okay. On, right? On. Excellent. Good. Now, uh, Claudia Ordoñez. Claudia. When yes. is the meeting, Claudia? The meeting is on Monday. On Monday. Oh, the meeting is at 3 o'clock. The meeting is at 5 p.m., right? Etc., etc. Right now, Cindy, when is the dance, Cindy? When is the dance? When, when is the pachangón, right? Yeah. Cindy? At um, 8 p.m. At 8 p.m., right? That's it, right? At 8 p.m. Uh, it's on weekend, right? It's in November. Uh -huh. 
Excellent. Good. Thank you. Now, let me see. Abel. Hello, Abel. Hello, teacher. Okay. When is the dinner, Abel? Uh, the dinner is at night. Okie dokie. Very good. Now, Victor. Victor Martinez, please. What time's the movie, Victor? What time the movie? What time's the movie? The movie is uh, at three o'clock. Very good. In this case, we're talking about specific. What time, right? Excellent. Thank you. Now, uh, Juan Alfonso. Juan Alfonso, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. Come on, Juan Alfonso. Tell me, what time is the class? The class is in the morning. In the morning. Okay, good. In the morning. But uh, this class is in the evening, right? <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Now, Luis Alberto Carranza, Mr. Carranza, please. What day is the concert, Luis? Hello, teacher. What day is the concert, Luis? The concert is... The, the the Saturday in on or at Luis in Saturday on Saturday, on Saturday on or Saturday. at Saturday at Saturday. Mm -hmm. Let me see who can help me with this. I need a second. Eric Eric Castellanos, Mr. Castellanos. What do you think, Eric? Do you agree with Luis? Eric? Okay, let me see. Uh, Ana Maria, what day is the concert? Ana Maria? Yes, teacher. What day is the concert? Oh, the concert is on Monday. On Monday, right? Okay, very good. On Monday. Uh, well, I don't like to go <laughs> on Monday to a concert, but yeah, the expression <laughs> is correct. Thank you very much. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, uh, everybody to participate, right? Uh, Ana Maria and everybody, now listen. Let's make a review, right? Because I repeat, this is a question of memory, right? On with days, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Saturday, on Sunday, right? Portions of the week. On weekdays, on weekends, right? Uh, also, you can the expression on vacation, right? It's an exception, but you say on vacation. Then uh, date on September 28th. Today is, for example, the third, right? On November 23rd, on November 3rd, right? In, oh, sorry. That was on. Oh, sorry, I missed in, right? Yes, we use in with parts of the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Month, in September, in October, in November, right? Years, in 2020 or 2020, right? And at... For a specific time, right? Specific at nine, at three o'clock, and at noon, at night, and at midnight, right? Understand? Any question? Can I make a quiz right now? Puedo hacerles un examencito ahorita? Yes, an oral test right now? <laughs> no, no, come on. Oh. No, no, quiero, no los quiero asustar, come on. <laughs> Ya los asustaron el 31 de, de octubre, right? Okay, now. So let's go to the platform, right? Let's go to the platform. Let me see. Escape here. Just give me a second. And, oops, the platform here. Okay, thank you. And we go to this, right? Time expressions. Okay. 
Now, listen, please, and watch. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions, such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the <laughs> afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. I get home late at night on Fridays. Okay, good. So you can see here uh, the time expression, right? At, around, early, late, until, before, after, right? In, on, at, okay? Good. I don't know if you have any extra question about these time expressions. No questions? Okay, let me see. We have commentaries today, right? I have a question. Tell me. Tell me. I have a question. Uh -huh. Tell me. Come on. Veo que el video dice en sección 6.8. Okay, give me a second. Eh, sorry. Eh, 7.8. No, I, I don't, I don't get it. No, 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 no entiendo, no entiendo, sorry. Porque. Eh, en mi computadora, el video, en la parte de arriba dice sección 6. 6.8. Ah, ok, I understand. Es correcto. Uh, eh, no, 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 it's. Eh, they made this video, right, long time ago. Es que ese video lo hicieron hace bastante tiempo, entonces. Me imagino que no le corrigieron el número y lo, lo, lo pusieron acá en esta sección. Uh, sí, porque no hay, no hay seis secciones, ¿verdad? <ríe> eh, es Ajá. un error nada más de, de nombre, nada más. Ok, don't worry about it. No, no se preocupe por eso. Yes. Uh, lo que le voy a mandar a usted es lo que está arriba, ¿verdad? Que es... Pero sí es correcto. No, 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 no sorry. Foco. It's a mistake, sorry. Es un error aquí, dice sección 6 y solo son 5 secciones, ¿verdad? Ah, 2.8. Estamos en 2.8, yes, sorry. 2.8. Eso es un error de nomenclatura nada más, simple y sencillamente, pero usted va a hacerse en esto que está aquí arriba, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 2.8, ¿ok? I, I thought you were talking about okay. the time, right? Yo pensé que estaba diciendo 7 y 8, ¿ok? No, no, right? Ok, thank you, thank you. Any other question? No questions? Okie dokie. Now let's go and work. Let's go to the knowledge check. Okay. I, again, this is a question of memory, right? When to use at, when to use in, when to use on, right? Okay. Now, complete these sentences with time expressions. I get up at six, on six, or in, right? Remember what to use with exactly time, right? What is the correct proposition? Number two, 
The morning. So morning is an expression of time, right? And it refers to one portion of the day. No one portion of the week. One portion of the day, right? So you know what to use. At, on, and in, right? Okay? If you want to review and you say, híjole, se me olvida, right? Uh, teacher, mándenos el PowerPoint. Okay, good, no problem, right? Yo les mando esta noche o mañana, right? El PowerPoint. Eh, de todas formas, mañana tengo tiempito porque por la tormenta nos han dado vacación mañana. <laughs> okay, so I can give it tonight or tomorrow, no problem. For you to memorize when it's in, on, and at, right? Good, then 11.30. Again, we're talking about time, right? Time. Good. Then the afternoon. What is the afternoon? Caro, what is the afternoon? Is, is day, is week, is month, is a portion of the week, portion of the day. What is afternoon, Caro? Portion of the day. Por, uh -huh, del día. Portion of the day. Very good. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you very much. Okay. Y por ahí también escuché al fondo, una voz misteriosa también dijo la respuesta. <laughs> ok, good. Aquí pues no, no alcanzo a escuchar la voz misteriosa. Right? Ok, continue. Eh, and then weekends. Weekend is a portion of a week, right? So what is it? At, on, or in? Hmm? Good question, right? I wake up late. Sundays day of the week i watch tv my what is the evening my la tarde well yes it's in the afternoon right it's in the afternoon but most most that if afternoon is a uh, night right but it's like this right from 6 p.m up de las 6 p.m. en adelante, we can say evening, right? Okay? I And remember, evening is... The evening. You say good evening, for example. You don't say good night. Good night is a goodbye. Good evening is a hello. <laughs> o sea, hello is the evening, right? Okay, good. So tell me, at, on, or in, right? Four in the afternoon. Ajá, uh -huh. una cascarita here, right? Look. Para que mm -hmm. se caigan. Mm -hmm. Afternoon, this is, right? But no, pay attention, that is four. And what is four, Ana Maria? What is four? Ana Maria, what is four? Ana Maria is going to say uh, the number after three. <laughs> mm -hmm. Specific what? Specific around, around. Creo que le, le está fallando un poquito el internet. Eh, Ana María, Ana María, le está fallando un poquito el internet porque se le oye el micrófono un poquito así distanciado, ¿verdad? Pero ya le cap... Four is four. Es cuatro. Ajá, yes. Cuatro. So, so is... Listen, I will give you three options, Ana María. Is portions of the day, specific time, or portions of the week? Okay, Ana María, I'm going to ask someone else because creo que nos está fallando un poquito ahí la comunicación con Ana María. Alicia, please, what is for? What is for? Portion on the day? Mm, no, it's... No. Mm, no. Josué, can you help me, Josué? What is for? Yes, uh, for is... Uh, part, uh, part, the, part, no, it's a specific time. A specific uh -huh. time, yes. 
like when we say four o'clock in the afternoon, right? So ignore mm -hmm. in the afternoon, ignoration, right? You pay attention in four. If you want, you can say four o'clock, right? It's exactly time, right? It's exactly it's, time. Um, okay, understand? So the part here is the most important, four, four o'clock, right? When I say what is four, <laughs> I thought you, you were telling me the number before five, right? <laughs> no, but it's exactly time, right? Weekdays, right? Weekdays. So this is portion of the week, right? And then I get home late, late. at or on, right? Don't, no, don't say, him, it's a secret, right? Don't say, don't say. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's, remember it is, uh, you have to do it by yourself. Any question? No. No questions? So let's continue, right? Listening. Daily sketch, right? In this case, we're going to listen. Rodney, oh, nice. Tina, and Helen, three people. Rodney, Tina, oh. And Helen, right? Helen. 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 Three people. Now, uh, we're going to listen to this. Ronnie is a what? Is a firefighter, a doctor, a student, a teacher, uh, et cetera, et cetera. He get up. He gets up, sorry. And then you say the time, right? He gets home. He comes back home at... And then you say the time. Right? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Jose. Tell what, me. Is, what is the mean sketch, sketch, do, sketch sketch do. horario. Uh -huh. sketch and the, the okay. pronunciation is ske, ske, schedule, horario. Horario. Schedule. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, now, then we're going to learn about Tina. Tina is what? The, the occupation of Tina, right? Uh, the time when she gets up, gets home, goes to bed. Right? Helen, her occupation. Helen. What The time of she gets up, the time she gets home, and the time she goes to bed, right? The same question for the three. Now listen for the first time together, right? I will give you this recommendation. Pay attention. Le voy a dar esta con, eh, este consejo. Cuando sean ejercicios de escuchar, eh, ustedes escuchen la primera vez así, como dicen, a lo pelón, ¿verdad? A lo, a lo que caiga. Ustedes a, a tratar de entender y cachar lo que sea, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? La primera vez. La segunda vez hay que focalizarse qué les están preguntando. ¿Quién? ¿Dónde? ¿Por qué? ¿A qué horas? Etcétera, etcétera. ¿Right? Y la escuchamos por segunda vez. Y entonces ahí vamos escuchando los detalles. ¿Ok? So, listen for the first time. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen. Now we're going to listen again, but this time, uh, focus. Just give me a second, please. I have a message here. Uh, tengo un mensaje, pero, sorry, no lo puedo leer. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, here. Um, oh, 
Yes. Ya, ya leí el, el mensaje de Ana María, ya lo leí en privado, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you, Ana María, for trying to get the class very well. Gracias por intentar tener la clase completa, ¿verdad? Ok, now, eh, we have these four questions about Rodney, right? Now listen again, Rodney. Empeate. Talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Listen again this I get home fairly afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Leave it. Well, well, do you understand that part? Yes? Mm. No, did you? Okay, no. again. Tina and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? What do you I'm do? a chef. Hey, that's chef. great. So, Rodney what are your chef. work hours like? What are your work hours like? They're okay. They, they are okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I work in the afternoon and evenings. Evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. I get up at 9 a.m. And I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Okay. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. Uh-huh. I get home fairly late. Listen. I get I home get fairly home. late, about 11 p.m. Uh-huh. You hear? Last time. Listen. Yes, it's a C. Okay. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. Okay. Good. That, that is Rodney, right? And the three questions, the four questions. Rodney is a, he gets up yes. at, he gets home at, and he goes to bed, right? What is fairly? Muy, muy. Muy. muy fairly tarde. late. Muy tarde. Me voy bien tarde. Muy o bien tarde, you know? Okay. And I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. Uh -huh. I'm usually in bed. Listen, I'm usually in bed. 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. Uh huh. Do you hear? Bye. Bye. Morning, the morning. Yes, you're right. That is Ronnie, right? Now, Tina. I want to clarify something. Quiero aclarar algo. Tina no es un lugar donde bañarse. No, it's, a, it's a person, right? It's a person. Now. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. I'm a, an office manager? It's a regular a, nine to five office job, so I... It's a regular uh, nine to five uh, office job, huh? Get up at 7 a.m. and... I get up at 7 a.m. Get home around 6 p.m. And get home at around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because... That's okay, though, aunque eso está bien, though, though. Because I like to go out at night. Because I, I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on week. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. weekdays. What about you, Ellen? So that is the information about Tina, right? She got, gets up at, she gets home at, and she goes to bed. Now, Helen. Helen, right? Now, listen. Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Again, again. My listen, job listen. is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. Flight? I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning. I start work at 6 in the morning. So I have to get up before 5 a.m. So I, ha I have to get up at 5. Let's listen again. Listen. Six in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. 
Wow, that's too early for me. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights. Then I often have long flights. Long flight, right? So I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. So I don't get home until, listen. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights. So I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. Nine o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away. But I always go to bed right away, immediately, right? Around 10. Around 10. Whew. Difficult, right? But then you can listen slowly, right? Slowly. And then try to answer, right? And here, most of the answers are exactly time, right? Then again, if you have troubles, you can send your questions to the to the WhatsApp group. But remember, you have to listen and listen, right? Careful, right? Okay, let me see if we have time for more. Oh, yes. Let's go to the reading, right? Class, do you think you can make it? ¿Creen que lo pueden hacer? Uh. Teacher, Orlando, tell me, Orlando. No, be honest, este, be honest. <laughs> ese, ese ejercicio es el que me tiene ahí un poquito. Este, okay. no, hay una, no hay una manera, perdón, no hay una manera de poderlo escuchar un poquito más despacio en la plataforma, ¿verdad? No, sorry. No, vea, o sea. No. Okay, okay. What, what I can do is I can repeat uh, a little bit slowly, but just one time, well, one more time, right? So, ¿Se lo puedo repetir por última vez? Uh, but you have to pay attention to the idea, right? Pay attention to the ideas and copy, copy in this moment, right? Because sí, I'm going to okay. make it fast. Lo voy a hacer rapidito. Okay. Okay, and try to copy the ideas. It's easy. Romney, eh, Tina, and Helen, right? And Helen. It's simple, right? Lo que hacen, a qué hora se levantan, uh, a, a qué hora regresan qué hora a casa, a la cama, y a qué hora a se van a la cama, right? Exacto. Sí. Simple like that. Mm? Four. Si quieren copiar así, en sí, ¿verdad? Rodney, one, two, three, four. Tina, one, two, three, four. Helen, one, two, three, four. Simple like that, right? Okay, and, and again. ¿Qué hacen? Uh, ¿A qué horas se levantan? ¿A qué horas regresan a casa? ¿Y a qué horas se van a se la camita? A la, a la camita. Okay? <laughs> Now, listen, please. For the last time, right? El, el reading se lo puede dejar a ustedes solito, ¿verdad? Porque es... El reading es, eh, why do you need a job? Es solo de leer el artículo. Aquí creo que está más fácil, ¿verdad? Y seleccionar sí. una opción. Nada más. Si quieren uh, entender bien el lenguaje, se van a, a San Google, right? <ríe> ok, entonces nos vamos a centrar en el listening para terminar la clase. So pay attention for the last time. Listen. Carefully. Ready? Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. I'm a hey, chef. Hey, that's great. That's great. So, what are your work hours like? What are your work hours like? They're okay. They are okay. I work in the afternoons. I work in the afternoons and the evenings. In the evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. I get up at around 9 a.m. And I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. And I work from 11 to 10 p.m., he said, right? I get home fairly PM, late. See. I get home fairly late, very late. About 11 p.m. About 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. And I'm usually in bed around one in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? What do well, you do, Tina? I'm an office manager. I'm an office It's a regular manager. nine to five office job. It's a regular nine to five uh, regular so I get office up at job, right? So I get up 7 a.m. at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because that's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. 
because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on... I go to bed around midnight. Weekdays. On weekdays. What about you, Ellen? What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. My job is a little bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning. I start work at 6 in the morning. So I have to get up before 5 a.m. So I have to wow. get up before 5 a.m. Wow. That's too early for me. That's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. Sorry, I will repeat this. So I have to get up before 5 a.m. So I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Wow, that's too early me. for me. Then I often have long flights. Then I often have long flights. So I don't get home until 9 o'clock. So I don't get home until 9 o'clock. Good night. No, listen again. I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away. But I always go to bed right away. Around 10. Around 10. Okay? It's time to say goodbye, class. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Sorry, that's the only <laughs> I can do, right, for you. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good night. God bless you. Bye-bye.